Well, tonight, an Alabama Democrat is firing back. Some Republican lawmakers want her censured over comments she made on the House floor. During a debate last week, Representative Gwendolyn Gavan quoted lyrics from a rap song. Today, Republicans say the exchange was a display of obscene, harassing, and morally crude behavior. Take a listen. When you go to bed at night, you steal one. When you look in the mirror at yourself, you steal one. That's the story of OJ. Light-skinned, dark-skinned, you steal one. You're going to always be one when you walk up in here. And every day you wake up, don't you ever forget that. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis is joining us live right now. And Aaron, help us sort things out. Well, Val, the Alabama Republican Party called what Gavan said racist and anti-Semitic. Now Gavan is speaking out, saying that she can't be silent for saying racist language that she didn't say. I was there when that encounter took place, and she didn't curse or say racist language. Light-skinned, dark-skinned, you still won. You're going to always be one. During a debate over parental rights between Democratic Representative Gwendolyn Gavan and Republican Representative Kenneth Paschal, Gavan quoted the story of OJ, a rap song by artist Jay-Z. It's a matter of interpretation as to how you want to interpret it or what your thoughts and beliefs are about the song. It's art. Gavan says it's not the first time she's referenced the song on the House floor. Even referencing it regarding myself. Again, not one time did I use the N-word. But this time, the response was different. Montgomery County GOP called for her to be removed from committees and censored from the House floor, saying she violated House Rule 50, where members cannot make statements about the character of any person. In a statement, the county's GOP leader said, quote, racism in any form is unacceptable and should be condemned immediately. Well, I'm not a racist. Pascal is the only black member of the House Republican Party. He released a statement saying, quote, no person should have their race or skin color questioned or attacked simply because they chose to think for themselves. He will not apologize for his beliefs and neither will Gavan. How many Republicans that are demanding me to apologize have said the N word? How many of them have sat in a room when their friends families and or foes have said the N-word outright and said nothing. Now, Gavan and the House Speaker did meet today where I'm told they things were, quote, handled without really any further explanation. Gavan did say, though, she expects things to continue as normal. Val. All right. Thanks a lot, Aaron. The motion to censure Gavan did not come up today on the House floor, but it still could at any time.